Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, I know it's been a while, uh, I've kind of got out of the swing of things and New Year happened, Christmas happened and that's quite busy period at work. So um, yeah, I am back. So this is the final part of my tarot series that I'm doing on my Witchcraft Wednesdays video and that is going to be the pentacles. So I thought we might as well just get straight into it and um, you've pretty much seen all the rest if you've been following this series so you know that I'll just go through each card and um, the meaning of them. So yeah. We'll start with the Ace of Pentacles, which looks like so. So the Ace of Pentacles, just like I've said in all of the other videos, is the beginning of the suit, which usually means new financial beginnings and new, yeah, so just new beginnings. Um, the Pentacles is also similar to the Earth sign and is about like finance, home, um, stability, work, all of those sort of things. So yeah, Ace of Pentacles stands for new financial beginnings. <clears throat> I've also written manifest in uh, my book of shadows. So yeah, Two of Pentacles looks like so. And uh, this one basically just means like juggling opportunities, um, time management, adaptable, multiple priorities. So yeah, just think of like, you can see that the two coins are being thrown in the air, like they're juggling. So that's quite a good way of remembering that, like juggling priorities, um, financial opportunities, stuff like that. Um, oh, I also forgot to do the reverse of the ace. So let me just quickly do that. So the reverse of the ace of pentacles is obviously uh, loss opportunity and lack of planning. So if this is just like new financial opportunity, that's loss. So with the two of pentacles, uh, two of pentacles in reverse tends to mean um, taking on too much, like struggling with um, time management and things like that. So over committing, taking, yeah, taking too much on. The third of, three of pentacles, third of pentacles. The three of pentacles looks like so. Now this one stands for like work already in progress, like the work's begun and it's still continuing. So you can see that it's kind of like the scaffolding in the background, this guy's holding a hammer. It also means um, like teamwork, because there's quite a few people on the card as well. So you can sort of see that get this card in reverse and that just means like lack of teamwork, um, working alone and disheart disharmonized. So that's what that means. Four of pentacles looks like so. So this card's a little bit tricky because it, it could mean a number of things. So like it could mean saving, but it could also mean when you're being almost like too tight and too secure with your money. Um, yeah, holding on too tightly in security. So that kind of, yeah, it's on like kind of like a border with that like borderline sort of saving, but you could be a bit too too drastic with it. Um, get this in reverse and it means overspending and greed. So that means saving, overspending. <clears throat> Five of pentacles looks like so. So this means financial loss. So you can see there is literally a person that's homeless on the ground and it's like snowing and um, someone else is just looking over them. So it literally just means like financial loss, um, poverty, loss of faith, so on and so forth. Oh God. Get this card in reverse and that means uh, recovery of financial loss. So yeah, you've kind of come back from it or that you've just like avoided it and stuff like that. Maybe you were close to it, those sort of things. Six of pentacles looks like so. So the six of pentacles stands for um, like charity, uh, sharing, giving, giving back, those sort of things. You can literally see the person is giving, <clears throat> putting coins into someone else's hand. So yeah, charity, giving back, so there's a beggar in there as well. Um, get this card in reverse and it can mean unpaid debts. And um, I've also written self care. So yeah, think of this as just like a positive card, your charity, your giving back, um, generosity, your sharing. And this one is more like your self care, but not in the positive way in the sense of just like, you're not sharing it kind of greed in that sense I would say kind of um, thing if that makes sense <laughs> seven of pentacles looks like so 
and the Seven of Pentacles I've written sustainable results and investment. Um, this is also can stand for decision making because um, you can see like here this is like like when I say decision making I mean like future investment decision making because obviously you see here that he's got the whole field which is like grown and stuff and then there's one here which is like an ungrown field so there's that potential to, to invest to like pursue more um, so that's yeah that's what that card resembles get this in reverse and it means limited success or reward so maybe you've put in all of the work however there isn't that opportunity there's it's just yeah it's not like a success that's gonna grow and evolve it's just it's quite limited that moves on to the eight of pentacles which looks like this and the eight of pentacles stands for like new skills or developing old ones um but it is about skills and just like yeah new skills apprenticeship and learning so yeah just think of like a, the blacksmith like making shields or making weapons or making stuff that blacksmiths make um i clearly watch like loads of game of thrones and stuff like that to be just saying shields and weapons like weird but yeah get this card in reverse and that just means like the opposite of that obviously so um misdirected activity or perfectionism so you kind of just like taking like honing in your skill a bit too much to the point of like you're trying to perfect it and perfection is a myth so there's that nine of pentacles looks like so i'm trying to do it so it doesn't get that glare in there you go yeah so the nine of pentacles is about um fortune like she's got yeah there's just like wines not wine why did i say wine because i'm thinking of grapes it's a vi vineyard 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 anyway there's loads of grapes she looks really rich she's holding one of those i don't know what bird it is um and yeah so then there's like a castle in the background and stuff like that so nine is self-sufficient financially independent get this card in reverse and it just means hustling and over investment so um yeah you, you haven't quite made that financial um independence yet you haven't quite that stability isn't quite there you're still hustling or you're um over investing so maybe the vineyard is too much to take on ten of pentacles looks like so and the Ten of Pentacles is like a really, really positive card because you can see the person is surrounded by family. They've got a dog, a baby sitting on his lap. So it just means like you've kind of made it financially and like you've got like that financial stability, like family stability, like everything. You've got the house, you've got the good money, like you've got your family, like all of it pretty much in one. Uh, long term success, family financial stability is what I've written down. Um, get this card in reverse and it means financial failures, loss, loss of money, uh, loss, oh my god, financial failures, loss of money, um, money is the root of all evil. So that's what that means, in reverse. Page of Pentacles looks like this. Now the Page of Pentacles, I don't know really what to say, so basically... Um, in this particular deck that I'm using, they don't use court cards. Um, the new deck that I got for Christmas, however, does mention court cards. So it depends on how you like to use it. Maybe it, it's got more of a calling to you or maybe the particular reading makes more sense to use it as a form of court card. But what I mean by court cards is that um, the page, knight, ki queen and king are representations of people um, and then in each of these suits it's like a different type of person if that makes sense so like the page of pentacles would be like the sun of pentacles in my unknown the wild unknown tarot deck i think it's called the wild wild unknown um, or the unknown wild or something um yeah so that's what that would kind of mean and it would represent a person um, and the pentacles are obviously stable and really like 
you know, like headstrong with work and financial and like just responsible and all that kind of jazz. However, in this particular deck, the page of pentacles means like new beginnings, new investments, um, like yes, yeah, small beginnings, sorry, not new beginnings, small beginnings and financial investments. So you can literally see that they've got the one coin they're holding and they're standing in a freshly, I don't know how to see, like freshly planted, would you say it's planted? I don't know farm I, don't, I literally don't know what the, what the word i'm looking for is but you can see the little baby sprouts coming up um on the like plowed fields so i don't know what you would call that um so yes that's what that represents get this however in reverse and it means lack of progress learning from failures the knight of pentacles looks like this and um, the Knight of Pentacles. <clears throat> yeah, so the Knight of Pentacles um, represents like hard work and kind of just like the longevity of it. Because you can see that the, the figure is sat on like a working horse. So it's putting the hard work in and getting that progression. But it's like a slow progression. Um, yeah, slow progress, routine and hard work get this in reverse and it's perfectionism and discipline so it's it's kind of like putting being disciplined enough to put that hard work in to achieve those goals and to achieve those um slow progressions and um yeah trying to kind of perfect it which i know perfection is is a myth but yeah queen of pentacles looks like so And with the Queen of Pentacles, it is literally practical, nurturing, financially provided, providing, sorry. So um, that's where I mean by like, it kind of aligns with the whole court card situation. Like the Queen of Pentacles being like a motherly figure, like someone that's like, you know, stable and is there and like practical and nurturing and like financially providing and, and all those sort of like foundation of like yeah kind of stuff in life um would be like the queen of pentacles so it's it's a nice way to kind of think or remember it as like a a figure like a mother um get this card in reverse however and it just kind of means financial independence and um self-care and when i'm saying self-care it means like just being like almost like selfish like just Rather than being nurturing and caring of others, it's you're being selfish and only caring for yourself. That's what I mean when I say self-care in this. Um, and the final card, obviously, is the King of Pentacles. And in court card wise, if you want to think about it, it could be like the father. So um, like the breadwinner, fin very financially stable, really strong, um, secure, um, business mind, like business mindset, all of that kind of kind of jazz. Just think of like the king at the top um yeah and then you get this card in reverse and it means obsessed with wealth and status and stubborn so yeah so that is all of the pentacles deck sorry i've got like hiccups um yeah so that's all of the pentacles deck so i hope that was really helpful for you guys um when i'm mentioned about the court cards like I've that's something that I've recently learned I know that it's probably something that everyone else in tarot maybe really already knows but um this was the first deck that I ever bought with tarot because I wanted to start learning it and um the little book that it comes with like this little thing it doesn't mention anything about court cards or anything like that and I know that it you shouldn't really read a lot online about other decks and stuff like that because they've all kind of been designed differently slightly like um and i know that the meanings can slightly vary but um it's always best to go through the imaging and stuff like that but um yeah so i didn't know about the court cards and then kai bought me a new deck for christmas and in the little book that it comes with in there it, it mentioned court cards and what they resemble and things like that which i found really really interesting so um i just wanted to mention it in this final video because i thought yeah it I like I've been doing um, free readings over on my Instagram and I've been finding that sometimes um, considering the four last cards like the page the 
Page of the Knight, the Queen and the King as people, as the court cards, uh, works in a reading and it makes sense. So um, it's just another interpretation that you can sort of take on board when you are doing readings. So just, yeah, just bear that in mind. Um, sometimes it doesn't make sense and then you have to just kind of think of like the theme around the card rather than it being like a representation of a person. Um, but yeah, I just, yeah, I hope that this <laughs> video helped. Uh, it is going to be, it is the last, not going to be, it is the last of my tarot, um, learning tarot series. So, um, yeah, I'm probably going to be doing like pick a card readings and things like that, uh, on my channel from now on, instead of like doing this learning with tarot with me. Um, I also did get recently a new deck, an oracle deck, which is this one. Um, the Work Your Light Oracle by Rebecca Campbell and um, I might do a review of this, I'm not sure, like I really love the artwork in it and I've been using it recently and, and I do, they're very very easy to read because uh, they have kind of like a little miniature description in them and then you can kind of like um, just, what's the word I'm looking for? you can then kind of make it work for the reading and and just relate it. Relate it, that's the word I'm looking for. You can relate it to the reading. So um, they are really, really easy to to read. Um, the only issue that I kind of have with this one, as well as uh, my new tarot deck, is that they're matte finish, whereas these ones, like you can see, are kind of shiny and like laminated. So they're easy. Oh they're easier to like shuffle and like to spread when I'm doing readings. They're a lot easier to spread on the, on the table and stuff. Whereas these ones kind of stick to each other. Like just gonna quickly show you. I know that this is starting to waffle on a little bit, but um, I just wanna, yeah, like they kind of stick, if that makes sense. Like they, yeah, they like stick to each other. Whereas like these ones spread really well because they're laminated, so. I do think that, yeah, these laminated ones are kind of easier to handle in terms of in your hands, shuffling them and like spreading them. But I do like the, the Oracle deck and I do really love the artwork of my new deck as well that Kai bought me. Um, so yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this video. This is like the third time I'm saying this, but um, yeah, I'm hoping to film another video just after this. That's just gonna be like a bit different than tarot and stuff uh, so hopefully I'll have two videos up for you guys this week well this week that I'm posting it um, and yeah so I'll see you in the next video guys thanks for watching uh, if you did like it make sure to give it a big thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel because it really helps me out so yeah see you in the next one thanks bye